Diane in Denmark here, another short refashioning video for you. If you haven't heard of refashioning, it's just a fancy word for using what you already have and changing it a wee bit so you can get a bit more wear out of it or use out of it. And I showed you when I came back from uh, our holidays in Greece, and I did a previous video, and I'll start a little series for it, uh, where I refashioned some jewellery um, that I had, it was some, a couple of necklaces, and I simply spray painted them to a colour that I will now use. And I also mentioned that I had started using some leather paint. I painted my silver sandals. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see me posting, you know, my outfit for the day. And I had some silver sandals and I've painted them gold. This worked really well. It's really easy. So I'm going to show you today how, how it works. Um, and I started off with a, a small project you using, it was, um, it's an old uh, belt, a, a black belt. You can see the original colour there. And I haven't been using it and I wanted to try out and see what you know, the different colours would look like um, because I'm really hoping that I'll finally be able to get a pair of red shoes to suit my feet. Um, I've got weird shaped feet so I always have to buy from the same brand and I can never get a really nice pair of red shoes. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to refashion some shoes that I'm not really using and wearing but that are comfy and I can get some red shoes, finally. Anyway, so here's, here's about this. This was a, a black belt. Uh, and if you're going like from black to a lighter color, it's probably best to use a couple of white coats first or one white coat and then go in with the color. I just wanted to see how it worked only using like the red, uh, the red leather paint. And this is after three coats. And you can see it, it gives really good coverage and it also kind of protects the leather. So even if you're not thinking of, you know, changing something that you already have to a different color, uh, maybe you've got a, a pair of shoes that looks maybe a bit bashed. Uh, I had a, a pair which were only really suitable for the garden of, of uh, white sandals. I've given them a coat of the white paint and they look like new. So there we are. So this, this was the red one I, I did. And I'm just going to show you because now I'm working on another belt and this was a, a brown leather belt, a Laura Ashley one, so I mean it's good leather and I didn't want to take it to the clothes swap because it is nice leather but I'm not using it. So what I did was I had a silver buckle and I'm afraid I didn't get a picture of it, how it looked before, you know, before I, I started working on it. But this um, I, I taped off with uh, masking tape, the belt. And yesterday I gave it a couple of uh, scooches of gold paint and already it looks great so that, that's working really well and last night I gave it a couple of coats of white leather paint. Now I'm just going to show you so I'm going to do another um, I'm going to do another layer uh, and I'll see if I can put on a picture like here of the, what it was like before I started and then I'll put another picture here after one coat and after two coats. And I think after the third coat today, I will be ready to wear it. What, what you do when, when you're prepping this, it depends on if you're using, you know, if it's a le real leather product or fake leather. Uh, and I'll tell you the, the make of uh, where I bought the paint. And remember, I don't do affiliate links, so, you know, I'm, I'm not a professional YouTuber, so, uh, you, you're going to just have to look this up on, on Google yourself. But what you basically do is you prep your item, you're kind of getting it clean and ready to be painted, just like if you're painting anything else. Um, so, as far as I remember, you might want to check, uh, if it's fake leather, you use acetone, you know, pure acetone, the stuff that we used to use in the old days for taking off nail varnish. You know, uh, and usually I would do this outside, uh, but it's quite noisy out today, so that's what I'm saying here. So acetone, and if it's real leather, um, it says here in Danish, who's holding split, but that is, um, you know, basic alcohol. So you just take a wee cotton, uh, you know, like a little cotton pad, and just, you know, clean it off so that we're kind of clean and ready and got a good surface to, for the paint to stick. Now, the paint itself, and, and these were ones that I 
I found recommended on the dressingyourtruth.com. If you're a member of Lifestyle, I've got tons of videos on refashioning. It's really fun. Uh, and they even have a cheat sheet so that if you are looking for the right kind of colours for your type, remember one, two, three or four, there's actually a list in there which you can find the colours. That's why I was so excited about finding the red. I'll be able to get, you know, a, a, do reds that are my colour and get a pair of shoes, red shoes. So the brands that they were using, uh, there was a couple of brands, but this is one that I found on Amazon and was able to get here in Denmark. Uh, it's called An Angelus or Angelus, A-N-G-E-L-U-S. Uh, and I got the gold, because I've been doing a lot of things, gold, and a small pot of white, small pot of the red. You really don't need much. <clears throat> this is going to last probably for years, but, but there's a special deal on it. But this will probably cover, I would say that will probably cover about three or four pair of shoes. It really goes along me. Um, so I've already prepped this and given it a couple of coats and this doesn't actually smell this part of it so this you could do indoors but I wouldn't do this kind of stuff indoors you know well ventilated area you know. so if you open up the small bottles they actually come with like it's like a you know, like an eel varnish there's a little tiny brush in it and the bigger bottles, these ones, uh, they, they, there's no brush in there. You would use your own brush. And I find that actually when I was painting the shoes, it's a good idea just to have a basic uh, paintbrush. The tiny one is not going to cut it unless you're just doing some small, uh, you know, some small details in the shoes. I've seen some really good examples on the dressingyourtruth.com uh, website um, where she had taken some shoes and done uh, you know that there was different colors and stripes or added something so you can be as creative as you like I'm, I'm just going for the kind of normal bog standard easy thing anyway i'm looking forward to getting a white belt to work so i don't have a white belt um in my collection i've got um i've got some soft belts but but not a good leather one and i was looking at them but they're so expensive and this uh, I can't remember what it cost, it was really it was really cheap and now I'm able to do bags, shoes, anything that doesn't move is being painted at the moment because my husband said, what are you, what are you painting now? So, you know, I get carried away with these things. So anyway, I'm going to take your wee brush and when you, the main thing that you need to know is don't go slapping on too thickly. As with anything like this, where you are painting, like just like painting uh, the walls in your house, thin coats, you know, a couple of thin coats are better than one thick coat. But you don't need to be too kind of uh, precious about it. And then you can just start moving it along. And the first couple of coats, I remember when I put the, the first coat on the, the red belt and I was thinking, <laughs> this looks absolutely dreadful. But oh, ye of little faith, just just keep going. And as I said, you, you'll probably need two or three coats, but at the end of it, it looks fantastic. And you can add, um, I think Angelus also has uh, some kind of final coat that you could put on. But actually, this, this is really good. And as I said, it, it protects, you know, if, if it is a real leather belt, it's like giving it a new, new lease of life and it also protects it. It's, and don't worry about the colour, uh, you know, washing off if it suddenly rained, you know, you're standing at the wedding and your shoes change colour. It, it doesn't come off once it's dry, but if you do make a little mistake when you're painting, like I've got a wee drop there on the uh, gold part, just take a wee cotton bud dipped in water if you get it before it dries, you can easily take it off with water. You know, if you get it on your fingers, all that. I need to go down this way a bit. It's quite a long belt. And what I'll do is I shall put a picture on at the end of the video where you can see like the, the final item. I just need to move down. And remember, always use a newspaper or something underneath. Right, I'm at the end here, that was it, and then I'll just wash quickly, rinse out my brush. Anyway, let me see if I can put that for you. 
There you go, et voila! And that didn't take long, did it? So now I'm going to take this outside, leave it in the sunshine to dry, and that will probably be me. You might want to take a wee look once you've done, uh, you know, your final coat, and make sure you don't have any obvious uh, brush marks. There we are. And as I said, this just gets rinsed uh, in water. Back to dry and hold on to the streamer. Show you how easy it comes off your fingers. Here we are. Voila! All gone. So, anyway, I hope that was helpful for you. And if you're on Instagram with us, and we've got a fun little community on Instagram, uh, the hashtag to find us is the same here on as the name of my channel is Diane, hashtag Diane in Denmark. And let me know if you uh, paint something, whether it be a pair of shoes, a belt, um, I've also done a, a small handbag. So anyway, I, I'm going to keep it short here. So um, live long and prosper. May the Danish hook be with you. And let's all use what we already have and just get some last life out of it. And I shall see you very soon. Okay, and I'll put on the picture of the finished belt, probably here. Okay, see you very soon.